Hi guys, so I'm just hopping on here real quick. I am at my 20 week doctor's appointment to do my anatomy scan. They are requiring me to wear a mask. So I do have a mask here. I had to get it from a neighbor because we didn't have any masks because I haven't been going anywhere. So I will be wearing this the whole time, which I'm not looking forward to and I'm not allowed to bring anyone with me. So no Anthony, no mom, no nothing. So it's just me. Here's my building right here. And um, I'm going to see if I can record the anatomy scan. They might, they might not. I'll definitely have pictures to show you. So I will get on here afterwards. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, unfortunately, I was not allowed to record any of my appointment. I asked and they said no. <laughs> I was allowed to FaceTime somebody during the anatomy scan, but uh, my husband was watching Grayson and everyone else was busy, so I just didn't. <laughs> but it all went really well. Um, I have pictures. I'm trying to see what's up and what's down. All right, so I have tons of pictures. I will insert them individually here. They got me in right away. I had to pee so bad. <laughs> so I did my um, my pee in the cup urine collection and that was fine. And then they did the anatomy scan. Um, the lady was very efficient at it. She said with the whole COVID-19 issue, they've only been having ultrasound people come in and so she's been getting really good at it. So she was explaining everything to me. She was super nice and, and really great and um, got all the pictures. We got profiles of baby. Uh, confirmed baby is definitely a boy. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can see it. It is definitely a boy. Like there is no doubts about that. So Grayson is having a brother who now we need to work on a boy name. Um, got great profiles. Saw the four chambers of the heart, uh, leg bones, arm bones. The baby was like flexing his muscles the whole time super cute he was moving around he's great heartbeat was like 156 i think she said which is f f fine great um took my blood pressure and that was fine my weight was fine um, i've gained eight pounds so far so on track there and my doctor came in after the ultrasound to go over the results with me and she said everything looks great um, everything's measuring right on track according to this um, I'm 20 weeks five days and right now I'm 20 weeks six days I turn 21 weeks tomorrow so one day off that's actually really really good so keep in the due date of September 9th um, she said nothing looked amiss everything looked great so um, I was happy about that. Um, she was just telling me about, you know, how things are at the hospital now. It's impossible to tell in September how things are gonna be, but she said it can't get worse. It's only gonna get bad, better. So, um, you know, possibly I won't have any visitors. I'll only have Anthony in the hospital with me, which is fine. I, I only want Anthony. <laughs> it, I mean, it'd be great if we could have visitors. I'd love to have Gray come visit us in the hospital. I'd love to have my mom in the room, but if we can't, then I get it. Um, she said we might have to wear a mask, maybe. I really hope that doesn't happen. Um, I hated wearing that mask today, it was terrible. Um, it wasn't as hard to breathe in it as I thought it would be, so it wasn't too bad. This is just like a mask that you could get from like a hardware store. Like one of my neighbors was using it to like sand something and they just had an extra so they gave it to me. So um, people are making like cloth masks and stuff, but I didn't, like they're charging out the nose for it. So I just got that free one. Um, but yeah, everything went great. She said baby is totally looking great, right on track. Um, you know, we'll, we'll measure my belly as things, you know, go on to see how it is. But um, with my last pregnancy, Grayson was measuring right on track like the whole time. So <laughs> I'm sure this baby will be right on track as well. Um, they did offer me to do the quad screening um, if I wanted to screen for like Down syndrome or anything like that. But um, I did not want to do that just because if there was anything in the ultrasound that would have tipped us off then yeah I would have wanted to but Grayson is totally fine and I think this baby will be fine too even if there is something wrong with the baby um, 
I, it wouldn't change, you know, the outcome. I would still have the baby. So nothing would change. Um, so yeah, everything is going great. Um, I'm so glad, sad that I could not record the ultrasound for you guys. Um, but they have rules. So <laughs> sorry, I couldn't do that. But yeah, I got the pictures and um, they gave me the uh, glucose test. I'm not gonna go back for another two months. So not until the end of June. And they're gonna give me this for the glucose test. They gave me the lemon lime. She said it's a new flavor. Uh, they got rid of the fruit punch. So they had either lemon lime or they had orange. I had the fruit punch last time. It was great, very yummy. So she said to do the lemon lime and see if it was good or not. She said in the South, it's really popular, I guess. So I can't drink it until June, but I will let you guys know uh, how it is. Hopefully I don't have gestational diabetes. I didn't with Gray. I don't expect to with this one either. I'm gaining weight very minimally, so I think it'll be fine. But yeah, so I just wanted to keep you guys updated. Sorry that, again, that I couldn't record anything. Um, I did have a picture. When I got into the, um, into the waiting room, they had a long red line that I had to stand behind while I was talking to the person at the front desk. I took a picture of it, so I'll put that, I'll input that here. Um, yeah, it was really strange that I had to stand so far back. I'm already wearing a mask. Whatever. So, yeah, doing great. I'm going to go pick up groceries now and go home and see Grayson and Anthony. So, see you guys later. So, we are back outside. I'm pushing Gray in the swing. He likes lots of underdoggies. Anthony is out here digging up all the dandelions. We have quite a few. He's done our whole front yard. And now we are, he's working on the backyard. So he's working really hard. I don't envy him, but we are swinging. And it was really funny because I put my hair up because it's like easier with wearing the mask. And Gray has never seen me well, he's seen me with my hair up, but I don't do it very often because I'm lazy. So I walked in the door and he saw me and he was confused. Like he was looking at my face like, who are you? And he thought I was um, my sister, my sister Kelly. He said, Aunt Kelly? I said, no, it's mama. And then he was scared, like he was scared of me and he ran to Anthony to hold him. <laughs> he's finally warmed up to me, but like he was so caught off guard by my ponytail. I thought that was so funny. It's like, have you seen those videos where um, the dad will have a beard and then he'll shave it off one day and be like beardless, hairless, and then the kid's like, what? Who are you? That's like how it was. It was so funny. But it is a beautiful day today. It's mid 60s, sunny. We're loving it. What, Gray? You want out? I did. Okay. Hey guys, so I'm just ending the night folding laundry, which is not the most fun thing in the world. I just make all my piles on my bed, my clothes, Grayson's clothes, and then I have Anthony's clothes on the floor, and then this is what I still need to do. I have a whole bag full of clothes. Um, so right now I can get away with only doing laundry once a week. I just do it on Mondays and we do, if I do it once a week, well, when Anthony's working, it's three to four loads, but with Anthony being home and not having to wear his Honda whites, it's really just like two loads, sometimes three loads, but usually it's just two loads. So it's really not that bad. Um, I'm sure like as we have more kids, and as Grayson's clothes get bigger, I'll have to do more loads. But I'm hoping by that time we'll have, we will have moved. And then I'll have a laundry room that's not in the basement. Because right now my, our laundry room is in the basement. So I have to go all the way downstairs every time I want to do laundry. And it sucks. So, word to the wise. If you're looking for a house, don't get one that has a laundry room in the basement. Because it sucks. But anyway, yeah. I'm ending my day doing laundry, and I'm watching Vampire Diaries. <laughs> um, have any of you watched it? It's a really good show. 
it came out when I was in high school, the first couple episodes, and then it followed in when I was in college, and then I think even out of college. Um, it did end, I know that. I've gone through like season six. I think there's like eight seasons. I don't even know. Um, or maybe I've only been through five seasons. All I know is I haven't finished it, but my sister started rewatching it. She's watched all of the seasons. And so it made me want to rewatch it because we're in lockdown, quarantine, whatever. So what else am I going to do? So yes, I've started watching them. I'm now on season two. It's a good show. I really like it. Um, it's cute. It's got a lot of like teenage angst. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. It's just vampire diaries and folding laundry. But I wanted to close the vlog out. We really didn't do that much else. Gray and I went on a walk. We sang songs the whole time. I used to be able to just like get away with not having to sing anything, but he demands it now. So that's what we did. Um, I made dinner. Anthony still has more dandelions to dig up, but uh, the sun went down, so he had to come inside. It is supposed to rain a lot the next couple of days, so I don't know how much more we'll be able to do on the yard, but we're hoping to... Um, finish with the dandelions and then get some mulch because we need it really really bad we have a lot of weeds coming up through our mulch and our mulch is just looking like really spare like we haven't done anything since we moved here and that was what three years ago and um you can like see the black tarp in certain spots because the mulch is like so bare so we need to get new mulch <laughs> um so yeah that's the plan and yeah um the big talk in Ohio was today, um, our governor released like guidelines on how to reopen the state and um, it wasn't what everyone was hoping it would be. They aren't opening as many businesses as people would hope. So it just means a longer process, which is, it stinks. I just want life to get back to normal. So it'll happen. It's just taking a while. But anyway, yeah, just wanted to end the vlog. Um, make sure to subscribe, um, give this um, video a thumbs up. Um, if you have any good baby boy names, any names that would go with Grayson, uh, let me know. I don't want to like rhyme or anything like that, so I wouldn't do like Hudson or anything or Preston or anything like that. Like it needs to be different. But we like names that are more like not as common. So if you have any names, um, put them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.